Hey guys, we're just gonna do a test with the drone. Won't focus probably. Problem is it's raining pretty bad out there, so I'm gonna use the advantage of having a carport. This one do is use this seek little device and try and get see how the drone warms up as it's flying. Yeah, you can see the I can overlay that on the thing anyway. It's 15 percent and I'm going to press okay, it. Now we've, we've got rid of all the juice in this battery now, it's down to one bar, which is these are forced lights, so it's 25 each really and that's below 25. It's actually, it was at 14 when I finished it. Remember always have tea if you're doing mad science, that's why all the best British scientists drink tea. Okay now what I wanted to do is, uh, I wanted to, to see if I could charge this battery at the full 100 watts. Now the power supply they give you, mine kind of fell apart somehow. Don't try and open these, it's dangerous. One side of it's got mains on it, it will kill you. Uh, and also they seal it, so you can't just open it. So this is a 50 watt power supply, what they give you. So you've got 13 volts, which it outputs. It's a dumb output, because the battery is smart. And so it basically converts to 13 volts at only three and a half amps. Normally with a, a raw battery, or like a raw lipo, you would need this. You can't just plug this into the into a, a voltage because it, it's not managed. It will just overcharge and blow up. So this guy has a the management built in. Like this is your charger for the, for the rural lipo, and this will manage it. It will do the balancing and all that. The balance leads. The, any electronics in there that manage the battery at all, it just feeds out 13 volts maximum at three and a half amps. So I'll plug this in. Here we go. So 30 volts. So it's just dumb power supply. It's pumping out 13 volts maximum three and a half amps. Yeah, so we really don't need this as long as I can supply the 13 volts into this guy. Uh, so what we can do is we can provide to this the 13 volts at 7 amps, 7.5 seven amps, and then test how fast it runs. And it should be perfectly safe because I think in the future they will do that anyway. Now, extracted from that, I just have the, the lead, and they only have two wires, so there's nothing complicated going on there. Uh, so I can just wire this into my little uh, power supply and we can vault that up and then we can just time it and I timed it already and it was an hour and four minutes to charge this from 15% now this is on 14% and uh, I'll put a timer on it so I'll wire this in plug it in and see how long it takes I'll just set the phone up recording on this. So we can get a good idea how long it takes and a good video if it blows up.
if anybody's interested in a little $10 charger for your Maverick, which should run at 100 watts, leave a comment and I'll do a little video on that.